Hello again, everybody. Andrea Majewski here with Dental Oil Tutoring. I had a student come to me earlier today and they did ask me some very real questions and they made some real comments that sort of brought back memories for me because I remember thinking the same thing when I was a student and wondering why nobody was ever talking about it wondering why I couldn't get help, you know, just needing somebody to talk to. So you might be wondering what that is. Well, if you're a dental hygiene student, you all remember, if you're not there yet, or if you're at the end of your program, your first day in clinic. So I'm not talking your first day necessarily with your student partners, but I'm talking your first day in real clinic, seeing a real live patient. Now, it doesn't really make it any easier if you're seeing your mother, your father, your sister, a friend, or a patient you have no idea who they are. You feel the same things like, oh my God, I'm working on an actual person now. Yes, your student partners are real people, but if you mess up, you don't feel as bad because they're feeling the same things. And you know that they're as anxious as you are. They're terrified to hold up that sickle scaler and clean those anterior teeth because there's not a lot of gingiva there and you're all thinking and they're all thinking, oh my God, I don't wanna mess this up. I don't wanna hurt you. I remember when I was a student, on my student partner even just simply starting to scale and being like, oh my God, does this hurt? They're, they're like, no, no, like keep on, keep on going. And I'm like, does this hurt? No, it doesn't hurt, keep on going. Like I would just be so nervous and so anxious. Now, I remember my first real patient. Um, she was not really a friend of mine, but she was a friend of a friend. Um, and she was a little bit younger than me. Um, I'm trying to think how old I was, probably about 24. She was maybe 18, you know, so she was like a friend of a friend. I knew her from where we used to go camping, right? So you might be wondering, oh, well, that's not so bad. Like you shouldn't have been too nervous because at least you knew her, but I was very, very nervous. Even the paperwork stuff, you are nervous about that too because it's your first time with a real person going through everything. And I remember, you know, having in my head to make sure not to miss anything, to make sure to write anything down because if you miss something, that could be a pass or a fail depending on your school. But mine was very, very strict where you were allowed to miss a couple things, whether it be if you missed writing down the patient's last name, well, that counted as a full point. Um, and then on the next page, if you missed writing down, they had linea alba on both cheeks instead of just one, well, that's another point, you know, so points would add up. And even if I got maybe three things wrong or missed three things, that's it, I would fail that whole patient. So here I'm thinking in the back of my head, and you're all probably thinking the same thing, whether you started clinic or not, like, okay, you're nervous to begin with to clean somebody's teeth. You're even nervous to go through the paperwork because you don't really know what you're doing. You know what you're doing, but you're nervous and you don't want to mess up and you want to get a good mark and you want that patient to count and you know that you need a certain number of patients. So you're thinking about this all even the first day. Your instructors are probably saying to you, you know what, guys, just take it easy. Don't worry about it. This is only your first day, but you're all probably thinking, yeah, it's my first day to mess up and it's my first day to get something wrong. And that will just kind of set the tone for the rest of clinic. You know, that's what you're all thinking. OK, I thought the same thing. You know, you never want to mess up. You want to be that student where you're proud of yourself, where your instructors are proud of you, you know, saying things like, wow, it was your first day, but you did amazing. Not, oh, you did really, really bad today, but don't worry about it. It was your first day. So there's so many things that you're thinking about that's totally normal. But for the most part, you are afraid to start cleaning teeth, right? Now, let me be honest with you. My first patient, I didn't do a good job cleaning her teeth at all because I barely touched her. You know, I was just so nervous and I didn't really see any plaque. I didn't really see any tartar. I was afraid to go under the gum line, so I didn't really check either. But here I was, you know, with my instruments, just sort of slowly taking my time, cleaning, you know. I put up my hand, okay, instructor, I'm done now. Come on and have a look. And she would come over to me and just be like, oh, did you even clean her teeth? Like, there's still a lot of little pieces of tartar here. You know, did you not see that? And I would be like, I, you know, I'm just so nervous. I didn't want to hurt her, you know, but we all say the same thing. As an instructor, we all say the same thing. Don't be afraid to hurt them. As silly as that sounds, because you do need to go in there. If you're not going in there, then you're not cleaning the teeth properly. 
it's easier if your patient has a lot of supra calculus to begin with, like supra, um, tartar, however you want to say it. Um, if they have a lot of supra, so above the gum line, you can start cleaning that and then sort of get the feel for the motions and then just slowly move underneath the gum. And it does help to know the pockets ahead of time. So that's kind of the best words of advice that I can give you. And you do know the pockets ahead of time because that's part of your assessment phase that you do to begin with, with anyway. So if your patient has pockets of all threes and twos, so all healthy, then you know that you don't have to go too far underneath the gum line. So go, go under a little bit until you feel um, resistance, and then that's honestly enough and just clean. You know, whereas if your patient has a six millimeter pocket, then you know you do have to go in there pretty deep. And those are the hardest ones to do because you're nervous to begin with to even go in there at all. So you're, you might be comfortable going underneath the gum line a little bit, but then a six millimeter pocket, you're in there pretty good, you guys. So do not be afraid to ask your instructor to show you. You know, I suggest doing it first um, and then just simply asking your instructor, you know, ask them something like, oh, could you show me how you would angle your instrument to get into this pocket? Depending on your inst um, instructor, they may say you, well, you should know this, so you have to clean it first and then I'll let you know. But hopefully you have a nicer instructor who will say, sure, I would be happy to show you. And then look how she's just putting that instrument in, no problem. And it does go in there pretty deep. As I'm cleaning teeth now, I don't even think about it. Like I'm just in there. But I remember as a student watching my hygienist at work because I was a dental assistant and me thinking, oh my God, she's just shoving that instrument in there. It's bleeding like nothing else and the patient's not feeling any pain. Oh my God they don't feel pain. You have to get in there. So something to keep in mind. So that was the hardest thing for me. And you might be the same way, but that was the hardest thing for me as a new student or as a student new to clinic was to just get in there. If it hurts the patient, it's probably because they have gingivitis. It's probably because they have perio, but your technique won't hurt them. Like unless you're horrible, but at this point you would not have been able to pass your student partners if you had a horrible technique. So does that make sense? You learn all of this stuff, but slowly and surely. So keep that in mind. So remember the days when you were in preclinic learning on your non-student partners, like you had, um, we called them um, typodonts. So if you call them the same thing, so you have fake teeth where you're practicing on, your motions are the same. Yes, it feels different being in a person's mouth makes total sense, but the motions are more or less the same, so don't be afraid to get in there, okay? And remember, we all felt nervous. We all felt anxious our first day. I was terrified. The first week, I was still terrified, but now, looking back, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, it's just so easy. You know, you get the hang of it. Even after the first couple of weeks, you'll be saying to yourself, okay, this wasn't so bad. Um, it depends on the types of patients you have. So it's kind of nice to have a really hard patient at first because then everything else is easy. But, you know, you might not be the type of person that wants to have like a DD3 class patient. So you might want the healthy ones. You might want the easy ones. But then as soon as you get a harder patient, it's almost like you're nervous every single time. But if you start off with a harder patient, say with a lot of stain, then every other patient after that, you'll be like, wow, this is so easy now. So it's kind of easier for you to start off with the hard ones. Even if you don't pass, pass all of your patients, don't worry about it. You're not the only one. Trust me, I failed so many patients when I first started, so many. But I more or less blame my instructors because they, I don't know, our school just made it really, really hard to pass. Like, I think we were allowed to miss two pieces of tartar, that's it. If we missed more than two, we failed that, that patient. So needless to say, there was a lot of um, appeals. There was a lot of, this isn't fair, you know, like even I probably missed more than two pieces of tartar and I've been doing this for 14 years. But enough about my school. So I do understand when things do not seem fair and when things seem difficult, but you can get past these things. So I guess in this video, all I'm trying to say is if it's your first day of clinic coming up, or if you're still new to clinic, if you have questions, don't, I mean, 
it's easier said than done, but don't worry too much. We all felt the same way. So just think we, we all felt nervous. We all felt anxious. We all barely touched our patient because we were that nervous, but it's better to get in, to just get in there. It's, it's just better, you know, don't, sh don't um, shut your eyes and get in there, you know, just get in there. You can do it and it will get better. It will get easier. It's just, it is normal to be nervous your first day. If people say that they're not nervous, they're lying, okay? They're lying through their teeth. They're nervous, they're terrified, and the patients know that, you know, and they do understand that you're a student. They're almost expecting you to mess up, you know, and they can't say anything if you do because you're learning. This is how you learn. So try not to worry about it too much. So I hope this put some of your minds at ease if you're starting clinic very, very soon. Um, please, if you guys have questions, let me know because I am here to help. And good luck. I would love to hear your experiences too with your first day in clinic because that's exciting for me. So please let us know. Um, feel free to comment and make sure to subscribe because I will be uploading videos at least once a week now. So thank you guys so much for watching.